Hey everybody, I'm Jackie Jing, and right now I am with Joshua Yale, and the epic Power Rangers story, Shattered Grid, has finally come to an end. And we got feelings about Oof. it. All right, so spoiler alert, spoiler, spoiler alert, alert, okay? But break it all down. There's a lot going on here. Yes, <laughs> yes. Ultimately, what happened was that Lord Dracon, evil alternate reality Tommy Oliver, uh, got all the power of the morphing grid and used it to remake reality. And we were all assuming that what he wanted to do was just rule the universe. You know, all, yeah. that's what all the bad guys want to do. But when we saw how he remade the world, it really revealed a very uh, personal side to him was that uh, he essentially gave himself a family that he didn't have, right? Uh, Zordon and Rita were his parents. That's like, so weird. As like humans, I know, yeah. totally weird. And then all the rangers were in his life, uh, but what, what you'll notice was that they were all subservient to him, right? Or mm -hmm. they, they, they just outright worshiped him and were a little bit afraid of him. Uh, and it shows that he didn't really understand what family was or what friendship really meant. And of yeah. course, being a Power Ranger, that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, what was interesting to me was that through reading this entire series, I have felt no sympathy for him. Like, I've just mm -hmm. been like, you are so evil and I hate everything about you. But when I was reading this last issue, I was just like, he is so sad. You know what I mean? That yeah. this was that the reality he created around him that he just wanted all these people to be subservient to him and then just to also see him being tortured by Tommy's voice. You know what I mean? I was just like... Oh, speaking of Tommy... Yes, yes. Good transition there. Okay. <laughs> Tommy's alive, everybody. Yes. Tommy's alive. He is back. Yes, that was absolutely crazy because that's the note that Shadowed Grid yeah. started on. Mm -hmm. Very grim. Tommy Oliver, everyone's favorite. I cried. It's killed. I, yeah. And, uh, and now it turns out through a little convoluted reasoning of yeah. you know, someone back in time and shot him with an arrow that had a chip of a shard that then uh, transported his spirit into this place between space and time. Anyways, because of all of yeah. that, uh, Tommy's like in his head mm -hmm. in this new reality and he's like casting doubt on this new existence, pointing out what we were just talking about that, hey, you're filled with self-doubt and self-hatred and what's wrong with you, like even though you're the same person as I am, is that I let my friends in and mm -hmm. you know, something bad happened to me and I let my friends help me, right? And he became yeah. one of the Power Rangers, part of the team. Ooh, I'm getting like after school I know, special. Yeah. Uh, but he said, you, Lord, Lord Dracon, what's different about you is that you you did not let that happen and you continued to be a loner and you amassed power and you were you didn't have anyone to rely on. You had no friendship and you never understood love. And then that's ended that ended up being his downfall. Yeah. Aww. It was like such <laughs> an epic face-off because they were equal, and then he was like, you know, we we're equals, but I have this over you. And it was just the power of friendship. You yes. know what I mean? Like I absolutely love that. Also, when they're going back, you know what I mean? And then he's like, come on, Dracon, like, come with me. And yes. Dracon just turns his back on yes. him. I literally was like, oh my God, all the feels right now, all yeah. the feels. Yeah, he was, gave him a chance at redemption. He's like, hey, I know what, what happened to you, yeah. man. I've been there too, right? Yeah. And he's like, you, you can come back. And Dracon's just like, nope. Yeah. And I'm assuming he dies. Like, he That's, just gets wiped away along with his reality. That's what I was thinking, he too. He could come back. You never know. You never this know. is comic books. That but made I think my he'll heart be off the board though. for yeah. a while. Yeah. yeah. It's very right. tragic, yeah. Peace out, Dracon. Let's talk about <laughs> Beyond the Grid now, because that cover, that looks so epic. I mean, there's just so much going on there. So what are you excited for? What do you want to see? So it's really funny. I'm gonna admit this, that uh, Beyond the Grid, it shows this new team of Power yeah. Rangers, one from each different era of Power Rangers, and smack them in the, in the middle is the Ranger Slayer. We love who's, her. Who's, yes, awesome. <laughs> e evil Kimberly, now turned good, yeah. with the Bow of Darkness, totally yeah. awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's funny that she's now the only character I recognize because I've read these comics, but I actually never really watched Power Rangers Beyond Mighty Morphin, so I actually am not familiar with these new people, so I'm actually really excited to get to know them and I'm also really wondering where the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers are because when they were you know, gonna remake the universe, they're like, we're gonna make it back the way it was, but a few things are gonna change. So I'm really interested to see also, you know, what are those changes? Yeah, I wanna see more of the emissaries. I thought they were just really cool and hoping that they'll play a part. But what do you wanna see in Beyond the Grid? What did you think of the finale? Tell us in the comments section. And don't forget to check out our videos about the eight things that we want the movie sequel to get right. And also our reaction to the Rangers swapping colors and powers. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch. See ya.